press it and it would copy it right here so basically i'm just going to show you kind of how it works the uh, 3d printer um so basically as you can see you can move it around i could have made this much bigger but i just was building a small thing and you can go up and down and straight and then you can go down the going down is kind of a uh, more difficult to do do it really fast otherwise it will just keep going down really fast hello everybody welcome to another video uh so today i'm going to be showing you how to make a 3d printer so basically you will need uh quite a few commands command blocks uh but it's pretty much the same command going on and on and on multiple times and then you will need some scoreboard commands so you can see a few things are in my hotbar a carrot on a stick, a command block, an, an armor stand, and a name tag that says 3D print. Also, you will want a name tag that just says 3D for this. Of course, you can name it whatever you want, uh, but you'll need to change command so that it only registers with that name. So basically this is a rough uh, thing and the carrot on a stick just erases everything except for where the armor stand is. That is an invisible armor stand. The way you get an invisible armor stand is you do summon, uh, minecraft, armor stand, you can also just type in armor stand, and then wherever you want to, so I'll just put it right where I am. The nvt tag, you do invisible, one, and then if you want to be able to see the name, like you can see 3D there, then what you do is you do custom name visible one when you do that it's right there another thing that you might want to be worried about is if you do this the armor stand is invincible so going to get rid of it you'll pretty much have to uh dig it to the uh void you can also do a kill command another thing you want to do is your if you're making an armor stand uh, what you're going to do and to do so if I go back over here to this one and then I you'd want to do no gravity one so it won't fall down so you do have to be careful with this one unless you're okay with just doing a kill command and you'd have to rename it specifically otherwise you will probably kill every single armor stand you have in your world so let's go look at the commands now so basically you go do an execute command. A lot of these, a lot of commands that are used for machines use the execute command. So execute if score at P, so whoever's on there, um, unless somebody's closer. Clear 3D, you'll need to make a scoreboard command uh, called 3D by doing going scoreboard. Objectives add 3D. Then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to do Minecraft custom oh yeah custom colon Minecraft crouch one centimeter so that just means if you move like one centimeter in the game while crouching then it'll give the person that did it a score so if the person nearest to this command block has a 3d1 which i believe is actually here which uh i named three down not i kind of got this mixed it up but uh if it's bigger than or equal to uh the modern fate you want to put your own username and make another command uh i am scoreboard you see scoreboard objectives add one do dummy meaning that it won't change unless you change it by going into the commands but then you go one so it's just going to be called one but you have contr complete control over this. Then you just go pl uh, scoreboard players add. You can do add A or you can put your own username and then a one and then you could do one. I've already done it and if I do it then it'll make it where it's two. But that's just a baseline for this type of command. So then after that happens, if it's greater than, then it runs teleport um, at E type equals Minecraft armor stand. If you're doing a server then you probably want to make it where it's specified only for armor stands as well as for only this type of name, name 3D. The type 
armor stand you'd want on a server because somebody might have the name 3D and it, they might get on your server and it'll keep teleporting them over and over and over and really be really annoying to them and you'll lose someone who might be on your server. Especially if it's a small server and that person joined, you don't want them to leave. So the scoreboard players reset at P3 down. So whoever is nearest to it, with the way, same way that I'll be reacting, this would clear it so that it's not continuously going down. Over here, it's execute at P if block, uh, three blocks underneath you. So that brown one right here uh, is two blocks underneath you right now. But if I jump, it becomes three. And that is what makes it go up. Because what happens is it teleports the armor stand up one. Then it teleports the player back to the starting position. And so that resets it. And because you're not going to be moving it on this one, you're not really going to be moving around. It's going to not teleport you back. And then so these are just standalone ones. Execute at at E type because my confront armor stand name 3D if block right where you uh, uh armor stand is is Minecraft oak planks which is what I used for the base down there then it will teleport it back to the starting position and then execute at E type my armor stand name equals 3D run fill Minecraft white concrete and replace only air so if it goes down into the wood it won't replace that it won't mess with that it'll just be teleported up but if it's where uh surrounded by air if it's in air it will stay there so these all just teleport you back to the starting position that middle block right there and what these do is these have a simple execute command execute at p if block two blocks underneath you meaning that if you just walk on it Minecraft black stained glass, uh, had a white stained glass, and red stained glass, and blue stained glass. Run execute at E type equals Minecraft armor stand, name equals 3D. Run TP at E type equals Minecraft armor stand, name 3D. To a certain position, to the left, right, forward, or backwards. You can figure it out uh, very easily. Also, make sure to put this second execute command. But basically, how you figure it out is if you press F3 you can see this um, if you have a different type of keyboard you might have to press like FN F3 at the same time or shift and F3 at the same time that's what I have to do so um, if you walk forward you can see that the on the XYZ it is getting smaller there are other ways to figure this out but this is how I like to figure it out and then if you're going backwards the first the X part is going getting bigger so that's forward and backwards left is bigger a z and right is smaller z so negative one so that's how i figure it out you might have your own process of figuring it out but that's basically it and then there is another command uh commands that i did for the copy and pasting it which is execute at e type equals microtrummer stand name equals 3d print make sure that, that they have different names for this one run clone um just clone the inside of the printer to where the armor stand is. And then kill at E type equals Minecraft armor stand name 3D print. Don't forget to do the print. If you forget to, then it might become disastrous and you'll have to make a new one. And, or and you'll have to look through all the commands to make sure you didn't get anything wrong. So that is how you make one. And so it, since it kills it, it disappears and, and uh, copies it. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it or if it helped you at all, please leave a like, comment, maybe subscribe. Have a good day.